I thought I would spill a little bit about my love life. I've met a lot of new people. Now that I think about it, it's like all clicking. A lot of famous Korean artists. It looks like you put mascara on your real lashes. I have so many story times as a marketing major, but I'm, I think I'm gonna change it. Color is so pretty. I'm really excited to go to Japan because you guys, it is gonna happen. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Daisy, welcome. As you guys read by the title, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. This is going to be more of like a comfy video where I kind of expose more parts of myself to you guys because I feel like in a lot of my vlogs, I don't really get to talk much about me. I hope this video feels like a FaceTime, honestly, um, because I just want you guys to get to know me better. So I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. It is currently 8 or 8 p.m. And I'm not going out tonight. I have nothing planned. I'm literally just going to do my makeup for fun. I'm not going to really talk through the makeup steps because this is going to be more of like a therapy session. But I'll still add the names of the products that I'm using right here. So you guys want it y'all can get it but anyways valentine's day is coming up and i thought i would spill a little bit about my love life because that's something that i don't talk about on the channel my mom's gonna be really enjoying this video because i never talk about boys to her either and she always asks me daisy when are you gonna start dating when are you gonna start dating but like you guys just that like i don't think i can ever like someone that much to the point where i start wanting dating people my love life at the moment it's non-existent and it's not even like the people that i'm around i don't think like i travel quite a lot you guys i see people from all across the world all the time maybe it's like the influence of social media and just like seeing attractive people 24 7. cleo sent me so many new products from their valentine's day collection it's not really a collection it's just this really cute thing in time for valentine's day season but they sent me the wrong shade so i'm just gonna be using the one that i've been using in the shade 21, vanilla. Like I mentioned, I had the opportunities to travel more frequently the past year and as well as 20 in 2021 because I took a gap year, so I had all this free time on my hands and I was doing YouTube, so it just worked out perfectly and I was like traveling here and there. Where I'm going with this is like, I've met people from all across the world and something that I've noticed is for the longest time, I've always hated my city. I've always thought it was a boring place. I always wanted to get out because I thought moving to a new country or a city would be so therapeutic for me. It would be a completely new life. It's really not. Like everyone all across the world is just really the same. If you hate your city, it might just mean that you hate the people in it. So try meeting new people and you'll get a new perspective on it. Since starting school, I've met a lot of new people. Now that I think about it, it's like all clicking because every time I travel, I would have such a good time because I'm always with people that I know there, you know? Um, and the people that I vibe with from there. And a lot of the times I feel like people just stick with their own group because they're afraid of being alone or they're afraid of like the process of going from the click that you're in to finding a new click. But life is way too short, like it really, it's way too short to just stick with people that don't match your energy. Like so many Americans say stuff like, oh, after high school, your life gets so much better because you meet new people and stuff. But like, if you're from a smaller city like me, 90% of the kids go to the same university. And most of the times, kids can't afford to be in hundred thousands of debt to move out of their own house. So for us, I feel like it can be a lot more difficult, but I'm telling you, it can be done. Um, anyways, I'm going to Korea this summer. I literally said that three times. Like, I need to shut the- Last summer, it was crazy because literally every single influencer that you can think of at the top of your head was there, was in Korea. So like seeing people that are based in like America and like Canada mainly branch out to like Korea content has been really cool to witness because I feel like I've done the Korea vlogs before it became like a huge deal. In Korea last summer, I went clubbing for the first time. I have so many story times. It was wild because i was seeing so many celebrities i've seen so many youtubers out in hongdae like people that i watch like mukbang like famous korean mukbangers a lot of famous korean artists that you guys will probably know if i were to see the names but i don't want to because 
What if they don't want to be seen as like the clubbing type person, you know? I don't want to expose them. I wanted to try the clubs in London and in Paris, but my friends were telling me that it's like really dangerous there. So I didn't go. But in Korea this summer, I'm really excited to go to Japan because you guys, it is going to happen. Last summer, I said that it was going to happen, but it didn't because their corona restrictions were a lot more stricter. And what you had to do was like you had to get a whole guide, like a tourist guide, and you couldn't go off on your own. I didn't realize how strict they were. I thought you would get like a day of like free time, but it wasn't even like that. Because if I were to be with a tourist guide, I would probably only be able to film vlogs. And when I go to Japan, I want to film like convenience store mukbangs, like 3 a.m. mukbangs, you know, like those fun videos as well. So I just thought it wouldn't work out. So many people ask me like what major I am. I feel like I say it quite often, but yeah, I still get a lot of questions asking my major. I'm currently in business as a marketing major, but I'm I think I'm gonna change it. I would love to work in the business side of the creative industries. I thought marketing would be the best for me, but there's also this major, I forget what it's called, where they combine business with artificial intelligence. And I thought that was really cool because you learn computer science. It's something that can be a great advantage if you know how to code, even in the business industry. This month, I get 10 days out of school, and I don't know what I wanna do. I wanna do something fun, but I also need to catch up in stats because you guys, my professor in stats literally her first year of teaching, right? So like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be mean to her and like go up to her and be like, can you slow down? But she actually needs to slow down. She like writes it so quickly, goes on to the next slide. Like, don't you think we need the time to write our own notes? I've been doing this for like five minutes. I'll be back, what the heck? I'm back. It still looks like caca, but it's gonna have to do. When I was in Paris, my friends told me that caca means poop in French. These are my favorite lashes of all time. They make your lashes look like they're real, number one, or they're extensions. I know manga lashes are really in style right now, but with these, you can literally like pinch them together, make them look like manga lashes. You can brush them out, make them look like very natural extensions. I think I just need caffeine. I stopped drinking coffee, and now like my brain just like moves everywhere. I've always used the word YOLO as a joke, but it's no longer a joke anymore. Like, this is legit. As I'm getting older, I'm realizing more and more that external validation literally does nothing for me. I just stopped caring. And it has enhanced the quality of my life by like 50%. No, I mean like 50 times. It looks like they're my lashes. It looks like you put mascara on your real lashes. It's been a while since I've done a winged eyeliner because for the past week, I stopped wearing it because I just loved how the lashes looked on its own. But we're back, baby. I have this deeply rooted fear of smelling bad. So I always have perfume on me, but recently I've been wearing more aroma oils that smell nice on my wrist, on the back of my ears because they just have this warm aura to them. I don't know what it is. It smells really nice and it smells a lot more welcoming, I feel like. I took like a five minute break and now I can't remember what I was saying before I stopped filming. God, this lip combo is so pretty. Ah! Color is so pretty. With the shiny lip balm. Oh my gosh, a few weeks ago in January, I was out with my friends and I saw this dude that looked like Chong Jin Young. If you guys don't know who that is, he's like an R&B artist who used to be under YG But I saw a guy that looked exactly like him, but he was smoking and by the time I looked back, he was gone So I was like, okay, maybe it was just not meant to be But all my friends were like, oh, yo, what the heck But also, can we talk about how fast kids nowadays grow up? It honestly makes me kind of sad to see how fast these kids are growing up because they're not even having like the child ugly face. The other day I was driving past my old junior high and I saw a group of girls and I thought they were from high school, but no, they went straight into the school. For my hair, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do like the wavy hairstyle that I've worn a couple of times and you guys kept on asking me for like the tutorial. So I sectioned my hair, I put the hair straightener on this and it melted the plastic, go like that, down, twist it the other way, a little down, like that, a little down, and then you just do it all the way down, and then you just repeat it. 
So I'm just gonna be doing this same thing with the rest of my hair. I'm gonna listen to music and if I record this, I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I'll be right back, BRB. So I'm going to be wearing the Seacrest contacts in coral gray. When I used to work with Olens, I would always ask them to send me this because these are my favorite gray contacts like ever. It looks really natural, so I'll put them in and show you guys. It has like a very nice bluish tint to it, but generally they're gray contacts. But yeah, that was about it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It was definitely something a little bit more chill and relaxing. But next week, I'll be back with a really cute uni vlog. See you guys next week. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some mile, don't give a fuck, oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say. What the deal, how you feel, not important, all I'm thinking about.